Oh, this pen. It is magic. This is the only instrument, the only instrument with which a USCIS form can be signed. It must be wet inketh, and it must be of the black color. Blue color shall not work. This magic pen is the only thing that allows USCIS to accept documents. At least, that was true until COVID struck. And then evil COVID took away the need to use this beautiful magical instrument. And we could suddenly use copies of signatures. But we had to keep the original wet ink signatures made of these magical pens. Lest USCIS might request them in the future. But hark! What is that? Oh, tis another magical instrument. Tis a phone, yes. Hello? Yes, yes, is this the modern word calling? The modern world? Yes, I know it. What, what? There might be a new change in the policy. Oh, you should stick around until after the break and I'll tell you some exciting news. Perhaps for those of you in the modern world, but sad for me in this old world of pens about what you might be able to do when submitting applications to USCIS now. Hmm. I'll see you after the break. Welcome back to Law Great. This is the channel where I give you reliable information, help you make better decisions, and avoid costly mistakes on your immigration journey. Uh, did you know that the rule around wedding signatures at the USCIS has been seemingly permanently changed in the new USCIS guidance? Yes, it's true. There used to be this rule that said that everything that was sent to the USCIS had to be signed with wedding. So that meant for me, who did applications for other people, if I had a client that wasn't like in my backyard, they would have to FedEx me a signature, or come to my office to sign things in person, and then I would have to send that wedding signature to the USCIS. Mercifully, during the Trump administration of all things, USCIS said, you know what? Wedding signature is not required for a while. You can send in copies, but you need to keep the wet ink signature copy in your files for some number of years in case we audit and want you to send the wet ink signature in. This is in a world where we have DocuSign, electronic signatures on Adobe, uh, where, where everybody is signing things digitally, where we sign off on just multi-thousand dollar transactions with our finger on little pads. Um, really where, where signatures in ink are a thing of, of the past. They're an anachronism like so much of USCIS. So what's changed? Well, in the newest USCIS policy manual, um, what used to be a temporary change of no wet ink signatures has now seemingly become permanent. So now you can use copies of your signature on papers that you send the USCIS. Why might this be important? Well, if you're working on an application uh, with somebody who might be in another country, in another state, they can just send you a copy of their signature via scan or hopefully not via blurry camera. You still need to be able to see the, uh, see the signature. I know a lot of you who send me uh, uh, documents like to use blurry camera photos of those documents so I can't see anything. Don't do that. But you can use scans of people's copies and you don't have to hold on to the original documents. So that's the new rule. Um, I've put up that link up here so you can check it out yourself, but hopefully that will help some of you. And uh, I'll be saddened not to have this beautiful instrument being used as it's meant to be, spilling wet black ink upon pages to certify them in the hands and the eyes of USCIS. Tis sad. If you've made it this far, you probably put up with my hijinks and crazy voices, and I really appreciate you and uh, I'll see you in the next video.